Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitpatcher.com, out here for another gear review, and today, I'm talking ear pro, these right here, which are the Noise Barrier Micro by Auto Engineering. Broad strokes, it is amplified in-ear hearing protection. So, for a while now, you have over-ear hearing protection, which you can turn on and adjust the volume so that you can actually hear everything, like all your ambient stuff, range commands, all of that. But when sounds exceed a certain threshold with respect to decibels, it cuts it off and protects your hearing. Same concept, these happen to be in-ear, so rather than big over-ear, they go inside your ear. The noise barrier micros come in this case, which is IPX7 water resistant, same with the actual earpieces. And inside this case, we have all the things. Right here is this little set of maintenance tools, should you need it. Also it comes with an extra set of earplugs. These right here are the flange ones. It also comes with a set of foam tips. I've actually replaced these, more on that later. And then we have actual earpieces themselves. And there's contacts down in here. It actually charges inside this case. And there's a little display right here. It shows you power level of the case itself, as well as the power level of each of your earplugs. And then over here, a micro USB charging port, and that is kind of the case. As I mentioned, two different types of tips. These flanges, for me personally, they don't fit very well. Everyone's ear is basically different inside, shape-wise. Foam generally tends to fit because it'll just conform to the inside of your ear. These right here, these tips, I want to say comply tips. Basically, honestly, a really good upgrade. The foam tips it comes with, they're not uncomfortable. I think these are just more comfortable, I guess. But put them on, basically smash that foam down, and then you just shove it inside your ear. And you can have it either way, with this piece kind of up, recessed into your ear. Also worn them with it down, does it matter? No, not really. But once they're in, this little piece on the outside is actually a button. You press it and hold it, and you'll hear it a tone ascending, turning itself on. Same thing with the other one. And then to turn them off, you can either press it and hold it, and you'll hear a descending tone, and now they're off. Otherwise, when they are on, turn them back on here, another ascending tone. If you press it once, just click it, it'll actually go between two different settings. So there's basically a low and a high with respect to volume, nothing else in between. And then when you start shooting, they sense that higher decibel, cut it off, and I wanna say these foam ones basically protect you to like 28 decibel reduction, which is pretty significant. Not quite as much with the flanges, I think around like 23 decibel reduction, something like that. As I mentioned, you can turn them off. The other thing you can do is if you just take them off and put them back into the case, they will turn themselves off and immediately start charging again. That said, what has been my experience with these noise barrier micros? Well, I've actually used them quite a bit in both some shooting competitions to include Desert Brutality 2022 and actually Midnight Brutality 2023 and also some shooting courses as well. And on top of that, obviously just trips to the range. I will say, I actually really like them. So a couple different fronts. One, any of your hearing protection, lower profile. And the other thing is depending on the iPro you have, especially if it's a prescription, sometimes it can be hard to find good shooting glasses that are also prescription. And so you're dealing with basically frames. And regardless of over your hearing protection, 
that can eventually wear, especially over the course of like eight hours at a course or something along those lines. So these alleviate that. And the other thing that's nice is just wearing whatever, whether it's hats or beanies for that matter. So by way of example, there's a brutality or sorry, Midnight Brutality 2023. It was cold, had my level seven stuff on and basically had a beanie and a hood on for a number of the stages just because it was down like at or below freezing and being able to have in-ear hearing protection so it wasn't like fighting my hood or anything like that because if you have over ear again you have a beanie and so now you have gaps unless you have really good gel cups even then still usually have gaps and so it alleviates all that stuff and yeah pretty solid something i actually really appreciate about these is battery power on a charge these earplugs will last like up to 16 hours. I've never worn them long enough for them to actually die. Usually eight, maybe 10 hours through like the course of a day, competition, something like that. And then the case itself will recharge them up to 20 times. So that's, that's a lot of trips to the range on like one charge for the actual case itself. Not to mention 16 hours would be pretty excessive to be wearing these things straight for any type of shooting or evolution as well. Things that I don't really like that much about them. I will say, while I appreciate that they are amplified, do a really good job picking up sound to include kind of directionally, there's two settings. So you have, we'll call it high and low. Usually I'll keep it on low like the normal setting. And then if you click it to high, usually I feel like it's too much where something like that could actually be beneficial is if you actually have over ear hearing protection you want to double up because maybe someone's shooting like a braked 338 lapu next to you at an indoor range i don't know something really loud you could actually turn that on to high and then you have over ear hearing protection and you can still hear everything and your hearing's protected but personally i would like at least one or two different levels in there I think that would be awesome. Price-wise, you're looking at about 450 bucks. Is that expensive? Honestly, it's really expensive if like, you're a recreational shooter that shoots once or twice a month and maybe only for like an hour or two at a time. If you actually spend a lot of time shooting to include kind of different environments, weather, stuff like that, to where, hey, maybe you have a hat on, maybe you have a beanie on, maybe you have a helmet on, this is definitely nice because it doesn't or yeah this does not interfere with any of those like having over ear hearing protection sometimes can and also just the ability to hear commands to include just being able to talk in a conversational tone which depending on what you're doing is important by way of example if you end up going to some sort of shooting course so you're invested time money for tuition ammo travel all of these things and now here you are at the course, constantly trying to pull your little foamy earplugs out or take your ear pro off so you can actually hear commands, the information that you paid to get from these instructors. Yeah, definitely valuable there as well. But they've served me well through kind of all those very different uses and I'm sure will continue to serve me moving forward. But there'll be a link down below if it's something you're interested in. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is supporting me directly, either through Patreon or Utreon, helps me go out, create more content for you, and gives you early access to videos as well as access to our Discord, where if you have questions, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.